All right, everybody, we are back and we are starting off strong. I'm going to tell you, so I started doing a thing where I, I subscribe to IGN and then I also subscribe to IGN movie trailers and sometimes the movie trailers on, so IGN movie trailers gets many less views, like multiple less views. Basically what I've been doing is when I see a trailer, I search for it on YouTube and I find the most popular video. So I'm finding that actually a lot of these trailers are more, much more popular maybe on another channel than they are on a, on the one that we're looking at. So all of our channel, all of our, our movie and series review um, trailers, excuse me, are in the millions this week. So that's pretty cool. Um, yeah. Have you seen this? Have you heard of this? From from this right here? No, I'm not. I've heard of that, but not from a trailer before. It's another one of these, by the way. You see this? So we're going to we're going to talk about this. Oh, uh, um, OK. <coughs> All right, so let's let's move forward though. Um, How the mighty have fallen. We are watching the trailer for the action pack needs you. You can support Mike's After Action reviews on our Patreon for as little as three dollars a month. Every quarter, once we've made at least two hundred dollars, we're going to be giving away ten percent of our earnings from Patreon in a giveaway over on our Twitch. So go check that out as well. You can find all of the links for everything in the description and in the pinned comment down below. Do your part. Support the pack. The action pack. The Acolyte. Official trailer, Disney Plus. Uh, coming out from Star Wars, we're going to like the video. I'm actually going to subscribe. I didn't realize I wasn't subscribed. Uh -oh. um, so here's what it says. So it has 8.8 .8 million views. To 175,000 likes and 478,000 dislikes. Ooh, Huge ratio. Good. Yep, three times more dislikes than... So at a 50-50, that's ratioed. This is three yeah. times more dislikes, okay? Yeah. We um, did, I don't think we've ever seen anything like that before. Yeah, this is, I, this is bad. That's really bad. Yeah, and, and I'm going to tell you, I did see, I, I didn't watch the trailer, and I haven't watched people, well, I've heard people talk about the trailer because it's such a big thing, and some of the things that they were talking about, we might not get into this because we don't have time um, yeah. to, to really, really analyze everything, but some of the things they were talking about, it makes 100% sense that um, people are disliking this. Um, so, in an age of light, a darkness rises... On June 4th. See, that sounds like we're supposed to be rooting for the bad guys. In an age of light, mm -hmm. a darkness rises. Mm, I don't know. That's maybe. I don't, I don't think so, but I never it's, thought well, that. I'm just saying, like, you know, normally it would be like in an age of darkness, a light appears or a light rises. And then you'd think, oh, like, okay, we're for the light. Well, you know, I don't know. Yeah. Okay, I'm sure. Okay, so on June 4th, don't miss the two-episode premiere of Hashtag The Acolyte. A Star Wars original series only on Disney Plus. Um, this is the woman right here, by the way. If you look at her, this is the woman that um, is is doing the show. And I will tell you, she's being heavily criticized, especially because um, that's Harvey Weinstein's personal assistant. Oh, okay. And so she. People are saying, anyway, people are speculating, and I, I, I basically agree with this. It makes sense what mm -hmm. people are saying. There's no way she didn't know and make certain things happen that had to do with everything that he was busted for. Um, know about it. She she had to have known about it, and she had to have, like I said, done, done things to either protect him and also make things happen for him. You yeah. know. And she's now the director and producer of this show. Mm. And that's an interesting, weird thing. But anyway... Let's not. We don't yeah. have to get into any of that. How have you liked Star Wars? Have you even heard of this show before? Uh, I haven't like, heard of that show. I do like Star Wars. I'm, I usually watch them, even if they're not so good. Yeah, so I will tell you, Star Wars is now a losing money franchise. We've already talked about this multiple times. They have not made their money, their $4 billion back. And now, with every movie they've been making, since Disney bought them, they've made less and less and less money. They lost money on Solo. They lost money on the last one. Um, and George Lucas is laughing all the way to the bank. That is exactly. And I don't think that this is going to be very... I don't think... Well, even if it's good, I don't think that audiences have faith. 
But we're going to watch this trailer and check it out and see what, what we ourselves think about this. I'm having a little bit of a technical issue because I can't pop out the um, ad tracker. I usually take the ad tracker and put it from this screen over to so where it's floating above your face, but I can't do that today. So we're going to be contending mm -hmm. with having to keep track of when we go into um, the ad break. But all right, so we've got a one minute and 45 second trailer. Are you ready? I'm ready. <sighs> I love my awesome Support the Troops Stormtrooper mug. Do you know where you can get a mug just like this one, but different? Bottega Crua. Bottega Crua is an Italian born and raised artisan trained at the Academy of Fine Arts in Venice, Italy. Since 2010, Bottega Crua has offered unique handmade and hand painted ceramics, pottery, and other artistic products. You can find these products at her Etsy store by following the link down below. She also takes custom orders, but they may take longer to ship because she has to make them after you order them. So go check out Bottega Crua to get yourself an awesome mug just like this one or the ones you've been seeing behind me as this ad has been going on. Remember, guys, supporting our partners is supporting the pack, the action pack. Here we go. Close okay. your eyes. Your eyes can deceive you. Okay. We must not trust them. So I am going to tell you just real quick, I know that it's only 18 seconds in, but I'm going to pause right here and tell you, this is something that people are making fun of this for because like, again, Harvey Weinstein's assistant who probably helped him get away with some of the things that he did is directing <laughs> and producing this. And the first lines of the trailer are close your eyes. <laughs> that's exactly what she did. <laughs> it's like, that's what that's is. This is a meme. If you, if I haven't seen this trailer, I just I've I know that because people have been making fun of this woman for this. She wrote it. She I, she's the one of the writers for this too. So like every part of this is has something to do with her. So that's interesting. Right. Okay, right. Let, let, let's go back. So, um. So yeah. Close your eyes. They can deceive you. We can't trust them. Okay. That's great. All right. Let's let's move move forward. Tell me what comes into your mind. Okay. Life, balance, I see fire. Okay. Oh. Trinity. Someone is killing Jedi. It doesn't make sense. What happened? I sensed the darkness. This isn't about good or bad. This is about power. All right, we're going to pause right here and talk about this. So, um, I again, I haven't seen the trailer. I have seen some people commenting on how um, they didn't think the fight choreography was so great. Uh, I mean, even if we go back and I, even if I mute this because we can make a short of this, like, what are you thinking of this fight choreography right here? Um, I'm thinking, well, when you said, you know, she's from the Matrix, Matrix, and it almost looked like Matrix fighting for some reason. It looked real... Yeah. Real wooden and robotic. Well, so what? Oh, so yeah. So the Matrix did that to slow it down, so that way it could be more interesting. But mm -hmm. here I'm watching this, and I'm seeing her do this move. So she does like this move here, and then she does it again. It's basically she uses the same. This is what I like. I'm noticing when I was because I was watching for this. So she does that move where she kind of like moves and then hits the arm, and then she does the same move again. That's the same. She did it twice in the same. It's very similar movements here. It's like she's almost just doing the same thing twice and then moves forward. So I don't know. Um, 
Okay, I mean, maybe it'll be better when you watch it in the screen, but I will say this. Yeah. This is, I saw, as soon as I saw it, and we're just kind of, I know that we're kind of nitpicking here, but at the same mm-hmm. time, that's kind of our job. That's what we're doing here. Uh, yeah. I noticed this. I want to know, I, I'm not a martial artist. I've had my mm-hmm. fair share of fights and stuff. I want to know, what, what was she kicking at? What, what is she I doing? Think she's, I think she, he caught her foot. She's doing a spinning kick. I mean. To, like, get I, away? I, Actually, yeah, I, I don't know. Actually, I took martial arts. Actually, I have a second degree black belt in Taekwondo. But oh, uh, really? Yeah. Okay. So, so yeah, you're I, our martial I, arts it, expert. It looks not. I, I am not an expert by any means. Um, I don't know what she's doing. It looks like she's trying to get away. Maybe catching with the misses with the foot and tries to. Man, that's some twisting there. I was just going to say though, that's like a big miss. I'm pretty sure that even I could have hit him in the head. <laughs> yeah, I think he caught her foot and lifted her up. Yeah. I don't know. That's interesting. Yeah. Yeah. So, so I'm going to tell you uh, something that I am noticing though. This this really seems like it's coming from the perspective of. So everything that I've seen about the show so far is. Yeah. Oh. Uh, well, yeah, I was just saying. It looks like early Star Wars. So yeah, yeah. Know. This is during, this is during the High Republic. Yeah, this is during the yes. High Republic, like before any of the movies, um, mm-hmm. the timeline of the movies. But everything I've seen is this actress. Like this actress is the main actress in the show <laughs> that I've seen. Like everything I've heard about it, she's on the picture. She's everywhere. I believe she's the darkness, but I'm. Uh, I, right. I, mean, I think. Right. So why are we watching a show about about the Star Wars where we're following the perspective? I mean, like, I'm not saying that it's necessarily bad, but we're watching a show yeah. about Star Wars from the perspective of mm-hmm. the bad guys. OK, uh, I am a little nervous about it because I do know that the director and the producer, this lady, I forget her name. Um, and, and I'm sorry, you're going to have to look it up. I'm not going to do that right now because because of time. Uh, it looks like other Mike is doing that. But she said um, that basically she's trying to make this out to be like like you said there, like it said there, it's not about the light. It's not about the dark. It's about power and um, trying to make it out to be where she said like this weird thing where she's like the bad guys are the good guys to themselves. Like they think of themselves as the good guys. And yeah. so we're making a story where they're the good guys in their own story. So basically the, it, this is, it sounds like this is going to be something where from the perspective of the people we're following, the Jedi are the bad guys. Well, uh, you know, I mean, if that's true, you, they mm-hmm. got to really do it right for me to like it because I, lo- I want to, wa- I just, I want to watch Jedi. You know, yeah. I want to see Star Wars heroes fighting Star Wars bad guys, and it sounds like we're going to be seeing Star Wars bad guys being the good guys, and I'm kind of, oh, I don't, I don't, I don't know. Um, hopefully it works out well, if that's what they're trying to do. I mean, she said that that's what they're trying to do, so ho- hopefully it works out well, and we'll have to see how it goes. Um, yeah, so that's, that's yeah. my thoughts on Do you have any thoughts before we finish out the trailer? Leslie Hedlund. Is the name go, of the Leslie Headland. Yeah, I I don't know. I think I'd have to watch it. It's a little. I think there's. It's a little too vague for me to kind of make a decision on how what exactly it's doing. But that right, one person, right. one character, looks like the main bad guy to me. I would suspect. Right. Okay. Well, we have about thirty seconds left, so let's let's continue on here. Here we go. God. This is about power. And who is allowed to use it? Well, okay, I will say this. Actually, one second, I will say this. This woman says this. I don't like this. And and I'm, but we're gonna play it here. This is what she this is what she says. Bad. Yeah, this isn't about good or bad. And then she this says is about power. But see, the thing that I don't like about this is that if you listen to George Lucas and if you watch the original stories, like the original movies and stuff. The original yeah. movies were about good guys versus the bad guys. George Lucas right. talked about how there is no gray Jedi. There is, like gray Jedi is something that's come out now, but right. he said there is no gray Jedi. You're either good or you're bad. You either have a green or a blue lightsaber or a red lightsaber or a purple lightsaber if you're the bad guy. Right. And and the whole right. thing with Mace Windu um, having a purple lightsaber that's fine um, because Samuel Jackson. Uh, or no, he said he said red. That's what because Samuel Jackson wanted a red one, and then he said, "Could I get purple?" And he said, "Ah, oh, maybe we could do purple." So if you're a good guy, you have green or blue, and if you're a bad guy, you have red, and that's it. The whole story is about the fight between good and evil, 
And now we right. have a show that's uh, that's coming out and saying, well, it's not about good and evil, it's about power. About oh, power. Now, I'm yeah, not going to so. make any... I, yeah, I don't want to make any assumptions, but that sounds like it's getting into some cultural, maybe political stuff that has been destroying this franchise up to this point and that's, may continue that, to do so. That's, uh, that's the philosophy of Nietzsche. It's all. It's about power? Yeah, about power. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, I oftentimes hear things about, oh, it's about power and who has power and who's allowed to use power is kind of a communist, communism or a, um, what is it? It's communism and then, why can't I think of it? Not socialism, whatever, it doesn't matter. Yeah, co- Marxism, yeah. Marxists Marxist. kind of have that idea. It sounds kind of inherently political. I hope that, I hope that they do it right. That's my point. I don't, I don't have the most amount of faith based on what I've heard and what I've seen so far, but anyway... Here we go. Okay, let, let's finish off, though. I'm going to try not to pause it between now and then. Here we go. And who is allowed to use it? Yeah. What is that? Oh, yellow lightsabers. So one thing is that it, it would be cool to see a bunch of Jedi. You know, we didn't, we never got to see the Clone Wars acted out in the in the mm-hmm. in a movie. Mm-hmm. They, there was an animated series, which was really great. But it'd be cool to see a bunch of Jedi actually being able to, you know, really battle it out with Sith. I don't know if that's going to happen though. It depends on how they depict the Jedi. I'm getting sick and tired of the good guys, people who have universally accepted good char- good guy characteristics, being depicted as bad guys because they're they have normal human flaws, and so the bad guys who are actually evil murderers, psychopaths, they're the good guys because they have these couple of characteristics that make them sympathetic. It's like, come on, yeah. Um, I hope. I hope. Yeah. I hope. That's my point. A new hope. I have, I have, I have a, uh, yeah, that's what we're hoping. That's what, that's what we have is we have a new hope. There's a new show. So it's a new hope. How much hope we have? Eh, I don't know. What are your thoughts on the trailer so far though? Like, what are your thoughts on the trailer and everything? I think I, I think I need to watch it. I I don't know. It it does seem a little odd in some places, but it's just real vague for me. But that's concerning because sometimes when it's real vague, then you watch the, watch it, you don't like it. Right, but right. it could, it has the potential to be something something pretty good. But I think you know with the what's it basically th- three to one dislikes to likes. Other people are seeing you know some red flags coming up with this. Like it's not really what it's supposed to be. And right, yeah. Well, we um, will we will see because um, we're going to go into the into the comments here in a section. Anyway, yeah. um, what were you going to say? Yeah, I, I, I think, um, I mean, I like the, I can't think of her name, the one that played in The Matrix with Keanu Reeves. Yeah. But, I oh don't know, it seems like maybe some newer actresses, maybe, or something to play those parts. Okay, that's just my opinion. I mean, I, it's fine. I mean, Yoda was like 400 years old or something, but it just right. seems like there might be somebody else. I don't know. But that's just me. Um, it might be pretty good. I'm going to watch it just to see. I think I want to watch yeah. it and see what... Is it a two-part? Is that it? Just two parts? Um, no, I th- they're they're releasing the two-episode premiere. So two episodes are going to come out on the same day. Okay. On June. On okay. June 4th. Yeah. So w- watch out for that one. Um, yeah. Ooh. I mean, we'll have to see how it goes. Uh, yeah. What is her name? Trinity. The Matrix. Uh, played by Carrie Ann Moss. There you go. Carrie Ann Moss. Very, very good actress. Um, yeah, I like her. We'll have to see how it goes. I don't know. I'm a, I'm weary of certain things, though, with the trailer. Let, let, let's... I, I basically agree with you. I think that the trailer itself, if we forget about all of the noise that's been going on around it, the trailer itself is too vague, which is worrying. Mm-hmm. There's a couple of things that they're saying in here that are kind of red flags. There's yeah. some cool stuff like a Wookiee, who, a Jedi, because there are Wookiee Jedi. I hope this guy's a Jedi. That'd be cool. Um, yeah. It'd be cool to see a Wookiee fight with a lightsaber. Um, yep. But otherwise, 
you know, there's um, just some the- some actresses that say and actors as they get older and they try to do parts that are like showing them as all this flexibility and able to yeah. do these different martial arts. It just I don't know, just I don't know. That's I'm just saying it just seems kinda it's like there was a movie with Halle Berry where she played Catwoman. Right. And she's a great actress, but she just doesn't have the athletic ability to pull it off, you know, and right. Um, we'll see. We'll see when it comes out. I, I just, just those are just thoughts. I'm not saying that it's it's so, but it looks like it's leaning that way. But yeah. Well, let's check out what the comments have to say about it. We've t- we have taken a long time, but I think this is a yep. huge trailer. To, so so that's okay that we've taken some time with this one. But let's go, let's go to the comments and see what they have to say. What do you see? The comments section turn getting turned off. <laughs> <coughs> Because like someone is killing Jedi, it's Disney. <laughs> yeah. um, close your eyes. What do you see? The like to dislike bar looks like a lightsaber. <laughs> oh, it does. It looks like a lightsaber. That is cool. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah it's, it's a gray one. Yeah. Uh, okay. Let me see. Let me see. Close your eyes. What do you? Oh, here's one. Did you ever hear the tragedy of Disney Plus? The unwise. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm trying to hear um, things that people have to say about it where they actually talk about things they don't like. This is just people trolling because they didn't like it. Uh, let me see. Okay, the part where... No, Leslie Hesen says it's forcing time and then shoved a bunch of teen actresses in a Harvey Weinstein's office was truly one of Hollywood's moments of our time. Oh, my Lord. I'm sorry. That's terrible. Um, uh, okay, yeah, I mean, people are just trolling this. And, you know... Oh, here's a good one. Close your eyes. What do you see? I see Ezekiel Sims. He was in the Amazon with my mom who was searching for sp- researching spiders right before she died. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, yeah, for over for over four generations, the Jedi Knights were guardians of joy and childhood imaginations before the dark times, before the Disney Empire. <laughs> Uh, okay, I don't think that we're gonna get we're gonna get anything really substantive, but there's a lot of videos and a lot of people talking about why they didn't like this. Um, I, this is sad. It's sad. I, I I'm I'm worried about it. I think probably. I think probably a lot of the a lot of people are are looking at this and seeing what the director and producers and stuff have said outside of this. And then you see it reflected here in that, you know, that they didn't like. And then you see it reflected here in the trailer and you kind of go, yeah, I don't know if I, this is, it's, it's, yeah. So when you have a bunch of controversies, even before the first trailer drops, when, yeah. the, when the trailer drops, the trailer has got to amaze. It's got to overcome those problems and say, no matter what the issues you saw before, you've got to see this because the trailer was so good. And this trailer right. just didn't do that. Um, and, so, and the yeah. fact that Leslie Headland, I think she, even if she didn't know about Weinstein, I don't know if she's the only assistant that he had. You know, I'm just, I'm not giving her benefit of a doubt. She's right. not going to, she's not going to get any kind of break from anybody, and that's probably going to sour anybody who wants to see this because they're just like, oh, I don't want to watch something with somebody who was associated with uh, Weinstein. Well, and to be clear, that's not the same as canceling. I want to be very clear because somebody made a comment about this in one of our videos where we talked about um, Amber Heard. To be clear, that's not the same as canceling. She can make her show. Her name is Leslie Headland. Yeah, Leslie Headland. So Leslie Headland, Leslie Headland can make her show, and she can get paid, and she can have a life free of harassment and all that stuff. Okay, but. If she is a bad person who helped Harvey Weinstein, I don't know if he, she, but it's, 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 it's likely that she was, I don't know that she was, but the fact that it's likely that she was might make people look at her and go, I don't like you. I don't like your stuff and I'm not going to watch it. She can still make it. She can still be free of harassment. So it's not the same as canceling. Okay. Right. If she was, if she was quiet about it and and she wasn't implicit in the action, but she knew about it and, who stayed silent. I mean, she's just as culpable as somebody who, who did, you know, yeah. participate in that stuff. So, yeah. But yeah. But, um, 
Yeah. So we've taken a long time on this one. So yeah. let's um <laughs> let's move forward. Yeah. Let's move forward. Um and and I'm gonna I'm gonna snooze the next ad break and we'll do one more and then we'll we'll go with the yeah. ad break. But all right. So let's move on to the next one. Here we go. Don't forget to check me out on Twitch and join the Discord where you can voice chat with me while a live stream and you won't be recorded or anything on YouTube and Twitch, so that's pretty cool. You can also find me on Facebook and Instagram. If you like to read, you can see my after action reports on my blog. And if you are interested, you can get some merch from my spring store. The links for everything are in the description below.